Hi Robin here with a quick tip for anybody who's struggling to release their left side through the ball to get their left side out of the way through the impact zone and into the follow through. Um, I've seen many times players spending many hours in the range, they're looking good at setup, they're making good backswings and good transitions, they're into a good position here coming into the ball, but they spoil their, all the hard work with a poor release of their left side through the impact zone. When you, do, when you don't release your left side through the ball, many things can happen. Just a couple of those common things would be quickly, the left shoulder would work up rather than working behind you, causing a sort of tilting back and a hanging back on your right foot. Obviously this causing per contact high weak ball flights. The left side gets blocked, causes the shoulders to stop moving, club releases early, causes that early release scooping again per contact, high weak ball flights, loss of distance. Another one of the com most common ones actually with a, a poor release of the left side through impact and into the follow through would be the chicken wing because the left shoulder not getting out of the way, the left arm's not rotating. There's really no other option than the elbows to separate. Often that goes together with, you know, high ball flights, weak slices to the right. So I, I won't, the feeling I'm about to give you, I won't claim it as mine. Actually, I spent a little time with uh, David Ledbetter during the summer, and one of the things he was suggesting, which I kind of really I liked the kind of concept of, was to get some Frisbees. And basically, if you imagine you're on the beach with your friends and you were throwing some Frisbees, left-handed, not right-handed, how would you throw them? Now, it'd be quite instinctive. You'd kind of move your lower body first, just the way we'd want to in a swing. You'd start rotating your chest. You'd certainly get your left shoulder out of the way and your left arm would rotate so you could get that flight sort of parallel to the ground with a little bit of power. You would never throw it like this, left shoulder going up or getting blocked. So if you do have a chance, a couple of hoops or frisbees, give it a, give it a, give it a try. I've got a bunker behind the camera here, so I'm not going to throw these particularly hard, but give a feeling how you would throw the frisbee. Even if you can't throw the frisbee, I think you can imagine how that would feel. Certainly when David said it to me, without throwing the frisbee, I could sort of visualize how that would feel. And then try to take that into your golf swing. That same left shoulder getting out of the way, left arm rotating. And then try to apply that same feeling through the impact zone and into your follow through. I say it'd be great if you could give it a try with some frisbees, but maybe you don't even need to. Maybe you can sort of Imagine how that would feel and then take put that into your own swing So getting your left side out of the way through the impact zone. It's a it's a crucial factor in being able to hit good solid contacts Control the direction of your shot. So if you think some of those faults you have some fault anywhere within uh, what I've talked about Try to picture yourself throwing a frisbee left-handed Take that feeling into your swing and see what happens. Hope it helps and as always, uh, thanks for watching.